Okay, everybody, we are going to attempt to create Escher's fish. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Now, I'm going to show you how I did it, but I do want to let you know that if yours don't look like fish, it's okay. And in fact, sometimes when you're making tessellations they don't end up what you want them to be and you have to use your imagination to make them into something else which I think is kind of cool because that's using your artistic ability. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Okay so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to um, do a rotation about midpoints of sides of a scaling quadrilateral. And I was just checking to make sure this is in focus. Okay. And so here we go. So the very first thing you want is a scaling quadrilateral, which here's an example of what it looks like. And my suggestion is to shade it in, and I've already done that here, but shade in um, your shape that's very important when you're doing something like this the next thing that you want to do or the next thing that I would do is since we're going to be rotating about the midpoints of the sides is I would use a ruler and I would use the the side that has the millimeters on it let me make sure you can see that you zoom in. And measure that way. Like for instance, mine was 50 millimeters, and so half of 50 is 25. So that's where I came up with my midpoints. So here's a midpoint here, and here's a midpoint here, and here's a midpoint here, and here's a midpoint here. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a shape from here and we're going to rotate it about its midpoint, which is here. So let me show you what that looks like so you'll know. And just like the other tutorial, I already have cut this, but just so you can kind of see how to do it. And I put my pencil here and rotate it about the midpoint. And then you tape that down. Okay. And then we're gonna, that was side one. Now we're gonna do side two. We're gonna rotate, we're gonna cut a shape out of this side and we're gonna rotate it about that midpoint. Okay, I'm just making sure you can see. Um, so I'm going to cut this shape out. And you can use scissors if you want, that's perfectly okay. Okay, so I've got my shape. I'm going to make sure it fits, which it does, and put hold my pencil here and rotate it about the midpoint. Okay, and then I'm going to tape it. Okay, so that was side two. So now then side three, I've already measured and found the midpoint. Okay, there's that shape. And the reason that you shade in one side is if you're cutting pieces and they, one piece turns over, sometimes it's difficult to figure out where it goes or and it gets frustrating, but if you have one side that's colored, then it makes it a little bit easier. So you just make sure it fits. You rotate it about the midpoint, and then you tape it. And then let's do side four. Side four. Okay, 
and then we're going to make sure it fits, which it does, rotate it about its midpoint. And I don't know if mine's going to look like a fish. It might not look like a fish. It might look like something else, and that's all right. Um, that's why I like to do tessellations, because you can make them into anything, really. Um, here's my first one that I tried. Got it upside down. And you can see that maybe I didn't have it upside down. Let's see. That my tessellation fit here, and then here, and then here, and then this one is. It's not upside down. It's not. Um, it's not the back of it. That's what I was thinking when I was doing this. It's actually just the bird or the fish turned this way. And so let's see if the one that I did is going to tessellate with itself. Okay, so here's the one that we just did. Make sure you can see it. And then you have to hold it down. And trace around it. Oops, don't let it slide. And then, I mean, you're welcome to try to, as you're tracing it, if you want to, you can be thinking about what does it look like. I'm not sure what mine looks like actually. Hmm. Still don't know. So what I would do is I would probably not d decide yet. I would probably trace mine out before I decided. Now here comes kind of the hard part. You have to figure out where your pieces go. Let me s make sure I'm doing this right. Let's see here. Yeah, I think so. So this piece goes right here. Can y'all see that? Yep. So I'm just going to trace. Make sure it's lined up as close as you can. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because you get the idea. Because I would end up with something that looks like that. Okay, and then like me, I didn't think mine looked like a fish. I thought it looked more like a bird. And so I would probably go in here and, you know, figure out if this was a bird or something like that. I don't know. It's a bird that's upside down. Anyway, so have fun. That is called rotation of a scaling quadrilateral on the midpoints of its sides. Thanks.